phone My left stroke just went viral Right stroke, put little baby in the spiral Soprano C, we like to keep it on the high note It's levels to it, you and What are you doing? Just sitting down? Well, why don't you come walk with me? These days, we spend most of our time sitting down or lying down. When we're eating, listening in our classes, doing our requirements, talking with our friends, resting, or taking public transportation, we do all this sitting down or lying down. Most of us have developed a sedentary lifestyle or an inactive lifestyle. Unfortunately, this is bad because a sedentary lifestyle poses a lot of health risks and greatly increases our chance of developing health complications as we get older. Unfortunately, we're too busy with our schoolers and other responsibilities to have the time to do exercise like working out in the gym or jogging regularly. So, what can we do despite being busy to stay active? Well, it's simple. We just have to walk more. Hi, so what's so important about being active anyway? Well, a sedentary lifestyle makes you more prone to various health complications as you get older. In 2017, DS conducted a research investigating if there was a correlation between the amount of time being inactive and mortality. They asked the participants questions about how inactive they were being and checked on them four years later. They found that the participants who were less active had a higher chance of dying earlier than those who were active. Another research done by Seguin in 2013 found that women who had a more sedentary lifestyle had a higher risk of mortality compared to women who were active. Hi, Kiri Pai. Let's go to take the jig, man. Come. Are you okay? Well. Aside from this, there are several studies that found that having an inactive life can you put out rates of chronic disease like obesity, like hair disease, like high blood pressure, strokes, metabolic system, syndromes, diabetes, cancer, osteoporosis, mental illness like, like depression and anxiety, and that's bad. Where is, where is the jitney right? Please. Come, come. Let's go. Go. You know what? There is not the Disney ride around. It's too far. I need to go quickly right now. So I will leave you, okay? Bye. Apparently, walking is a gateway to improve your health. In fact, just walking 30 minutes every day can do wonders for your body. Walking improves aerobic fitness, which is the ability of your heart to get oxygen to your muscles. Greater aerobic fitness means that the muscles in your heart will take less effort to oxygenate your blood. Also, improved blood circulation reduces the risk of not only cardiovascular diseases but also high blood pressure and even stroke because better blood flow reduces the chance of random clots from forming in your veins hey i have to go to class na bye see you later oh hello there let's go you know that when we walk, our muscles require more oxygen, so we breathe more to cope up with the demand. Walking also helps us to, de to develop better breathing techniques. It increases also the oxygen amount that our lungs can take up. That reflects for a healthy pulmonary function. 
Walking also helps us to fight obesity. It is one of the effective ways to maintain our normal weight and healthy weight. Walking gets energy, which we take from taking up the fat cells inside our body. Aside from the healthy weight, it also decreases the chance of having atherosclerosis, which occurs when the fat buildup in our body, in our veins also, that increases the blood pressure and decreases the blood flow. You walk, ha? Another benefit of walking is that it strengthens our bones and joints. When we walk, we put in, uh, we put weight on our bones, making it uh, increase its density. So it means that it gets harder and it gets less prone to fractures and diseases like osteoporosis. So osteoporosis is when the bones in our body becomes less dense and more porous, which makes the bones more soft and increases the risk of it actually breaking. Walking also helps us to develop our balance and coordination and because of walking it'll actually make you have better chances of actually tripping and falling Hi again. aside from the many benefits of walking for our physical health Walking also offers many benefits for mental health. In fact, studies have shown that walking can decrease stress and anxiety. The part of our brain involved in stress and anxiety can be temporarily shut off when we walk because when we walk, our brain is too busy making sure our body is coordinated and making sure we don't stumble and fall and taking in the visual stimuli, which is the view around us, to think about the stress. So, when we're done walking, our mind is more clear and we can think more properly. Bye! Let me just add something to your knowledge. Along with helping decrease st stress and anxiety, several studies have also shown that walking regularly can combat depression and its symptoms. In fact, the effect of walking in easing the symptoms of depression is comparable to the effect of antidepressants. Getting exercise like walking releases endorphins, which is more commonly known as the happy hormone. Like it says in the name, this hormone is responsible for making us happy, more positive, and let us feel better in general. Well, that's all. Thank you. Bye. You know what? Walking mode doesn't only help us in our mental and physical health. It also has more adventures for us. We can save money. We don't pay more for our gas. Also, we don't pay for public transportation. And we don't pay more for medicine because now we are healthy. Walking also has environmental benefits because we would rely less on vehicles that release toxic chemicals and greenhouse gases that harm the planet by trapping heat and increasing the global temperature, which is a phenomenon known as global warming. Also, walking lets us see many beautiful sceneries and we would have more time to truly take in the view and see its parts as opposed to when we're in a vehicle that would pass by too quickly. Sometimes, walking actually helps us reach our destination faster because we don't have to deal with the traffic and we would have access to shorter and faster routes that vehicles aren't allowed to go through. Just like this. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Bye-bye!
Lovely! I almost forgot. Unlike some forms of activities, walking is free and doesn't require any special equipment or trains. Physical activities doesn't have to be vigorous or be done for so long period of time. According to the study of 2007, inactive women found that also in the le low level skills, they can also significantly deactivate or activated their skills and enhance their physical activities without doing such such vigorous activities and also walking improves our mental health and physical abilities by doing such walking for about 75 minutes per week and it will significantly level our physical health abruptly also adding for this one is that becoming more confident and safe walking you can do that for any time of the day and doesn't have to be worried about risk associated with some other vigorous physical activities and you can perform it at your own pace bye bye hey 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 did you know that to get the health benefits mentioned try to walk for at least 30 minutes as briefly as you can on most days of the week brisk means that you can still talk but not sing and you may be puffing slightly moderate activities such as walking can pose a real health risk but if you have a medical condition check with your doctor before starting any new exercise program of any physical activity if it's too difficult to walk for 30 minutes at one time, do regular regular small bouts or 10-minute walks three times a day and gradually build up to longer sessions. However, if your goal is to lose weight, yes, to <laughs> lose weight, if this is your goal, then you can achieve this by starting with smaller bouts of activity throughout the day and increasing this as your fitness improves. So you can do the small bouts in between your classes by walking instead of riding vehicles. Oh, hi. So, with all of the complications associated with being sedentary, it really is comparable to smoking. So, to minimize the risk and avoid being sick as much as possible, all we have to do is step outside, get some fresh air, and walk more. Because walking more is living more.